What is up, everyone? And welcome back to my Body by Mac YouTube fitness channel. Thank you for watching. And be sure to hit that subscription button if you enjoy my videos. And comment below on what you want to see next. This video is about peak week. Many of you know I am a fitness model. And I decided at last minute after training since January of this year, it is now July of this year, um, I've been tra training since January for NPC competitions and I just decided as an all natural athlete to switch over to OCB. Do I want to go back to NPC one day? Yes, I have plenty of friends in the NPC industry. Um, some of them are natural, some of them are not natural. Basically in NPC, you can do it however you want. So you are standing on stage with people on illegal drugs, unnatural medications. And I refuse to go somewhere, especially someone who has people looking up to her, someone who is in the, um, in the spotlight of the fitness industry, someone who is out to help people. I want to do it all natural so that I can show people you can do it too as long as you put the time and effort into it. Um, this is not talking anything bad about it, but I'm switching over to a natural organization where they polygraph test you and they drug test you so I'm doing OCB for the first time dipping my toes into it seeing how I like it and I don't know maybe I'll go back to NPC one day because it does hold a special place in my heart I really enjoy NPC I've met some amazing friends in the NPC industry um, I also know that you do get more time in the OCB on stage I feel like in NPC I trained all that time to be on stage for six seconds and I don't feel like I was able to really show off my figure and physique so I'm going to walk you guys through peak week now peak week is the week right before your show um, and I have documented that for you and it's it's a, one of the most important weeks during your prep time however you cannot not prep and just do a peak week and jump into a show. It is not going to work like that. Really everything is important and you have to, um, you have to really take it seriously through the whole prep. Now, before I did shows, I prepped for 12 weeks and I did peak week and I stepped on stage. I have been prepping since January. Now, I've never skipped a day in the gym as far as my five days in the gym a week goes. I don't really, um, go into the gym on weekends. Um, Sunday's really the only day I take off because on Saturday I do run and take care of a lot of fitness stuff at home, which is my body being active. But I have not skipped any days in the gym, but I have had a rough time. I have had a rough time prepping this year. It's something about my hormones and my body and things I'm going through and just being really busy, being really stressed, and I kept putting shows off. And one day I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do the dang thing. But all in all, I really enjoy prepping. I think if you don't enjoy it and you are miserable the whole time prepping, it's definitely not the sport for you. You are pushing your body to its limits. You will be tired. You will be hungry. You're not starving yourself. But as you know, women with hormones, sometimes we really crave chocolate and we can't give ourselves our, that chocolate, but you do eat a healthy amount of food. I think people mistake when I say I'm really hungry by I'm starving myself and I am against starvation. I've never starved myself to prep for a show. So basically, Basically, you work really hard through prep time, you eat really healthy, and then you go through peak week. So this is the week before the show. I'm going to walk you through it. Um, I continue with my working out up until Wednesday. I drink a gallon of water on Monday and Tuesday and start tapering it down to the show to get dry for the show. And then I try to make my muscles look fuller. So here we go. I'm going to walk you through peak week and enjoy the video. Day two of peak week. So it is Tuesday. I didn't vlog all day yesterday because I was just way too busy with business and taking care of stuff. It's really not a good time to be in comp prep, but here's what I determined and discovered about being in prep for competition. There's never a good time. There's never a right time. You just gotta buckle down and you gotta do it. And I have done that all year. I've trained since January. It is now um, June and I usually only prep for three months, but I would have a show. I'd push it off because I wasn't ready, have a show, push it off because I wasn't ready, 
finally I picked a show and I'm like, I'm doing the dang thing. The only time I refuse to comp prep is during holiday seasons, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, because I just really want to enjoy that time spending holidays with family. But I realized that really there's holidays going on all year. With my family, we're really big. There's always birthday parties. There's always gatherings. There's um, thankfully, I finished this competition right before 4th of July, so I get to enjoy that. But just, there's really something going on every single month. But I want to walk you guys through peak week, and obviously, I look so horrible. But basically, this week, I'm doing a lot of cardio and drinking two gallons of water a day. Um, and I have a lot of business to take care of, so I'm kind of taking it easy. Usually, I lift heavy all day, but now I'm just upping my cardio drinking lots of water and making sure I'm sticking to my diet to a T. So being on prep is all about planning ahead and being prepared. So we're going to the gym to get a good workout in and thankfully Josh is going with me. I love having someone there with me at the gym. So I have all of my morning vitamins and my food prep. Just pulled up to the gym. The hardest part about peak week is you are usually really tired because um, I'm not eating any carbs this week. And so I just feel I'm, I'm hungry. You're deprived from the good food. I have been thinking about donuts all morning. But for me being a type one diabetic, this is the best my blood sugars ever run and the lowest amount of insulin I take. I just took four units of insulin. Um, and it was my first shot of the day and my blood sugar was 130. So the, the worst part about that is if you are on a specific amount of calories and, and carbs and trying to hit your micronutrients to a T and your blood sugar drops, you have to go eat something, usually something that gets your blood sugars up, which stuff that gets your blood sugars up are usually more unhealthy, high carb, high sugary foods. So anyways, I'm gonna start this workout off by doing 20 minutes on the Stairmaster. I'll do 20 minutes before, 20 minutes after. Um, and I have here, I have a sweat belt and I have sweat belts on my legs. It's crazy the stuff that you do during peak week to get rid of that water weight. So let's get on Stairmaster. Here we go, baby. I love seeing you two drops. I am through with the gym, two hours at the gym. I've never sweated so much. I'm gonna say that every day because I plan to sweat more and more every day. But I rushed into the house. I made my egg whites and avocado. Um, I have some chia seeds on it and I cooked it in um, coconut oil because I am doing keto all week. So it's like a bunch of fat, no carbs. Um, I usually only do that the last two weeks of prepping. I don't want to live on keto. So yeah, I'm eating this while I'm driving because Jaxie has gymnastics. Show me your outfit. Woo, girl! This was my outfit when I was a kid. <laughs> you are so cute. And show them your hair. We braided our hair. So we went in real quick. I grabbed this and whoever sits next to me is just going to have to deal with stink with my stench because I stink so bad but there is not enough time to shower. So let's go tumble. Here's what everyone else is eating. Good stuff. Hi. And my meal. It's early in the morning. I'm doing my morning routine of drinking hot tea and two bottles of water. Um, Monday and Tuesday, it's Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, I drank two gallons of water. Today I drink, I will drink one and a half gallons of water. So not too bad. The two gallons was pretty challenging. I was like chugging two bottles of water before bed last night to make it to my two gallons. Um, but this morning my kids wanted donuts and I'm not gonna tell them no because it's, it would be hard for me. Um, it, peak week is the strictest you ever are on your diet. And I always eat healthy, but when you're like super deprived from carbs or food, um, you start to crave it. And so that was really hard. My entire house smelled like donuts and it was very, very hard. So I'm answering emails, I'm doing work, I'm typing up addresses for my mom's race, which is not this coming weekend, but next weekend. 
super excited to have everyone involved. Got kids running around everywhere. Then I'm gonna do a cardio hit and a sauna session and eat lunch and go to the gym. It's day three of peak week. So I get to come work out tomorrow. I'll take Friday off because I'll be traveling to the event and then compete on Saturday. It's been one of the long longest weeks of my life. I feel like I'm drained from all the energy that I have. I was sitting in the truck to come into the gym, right outside the gym for about 20 minutes because I can't find my energy. It's just not here, but I am dedicated. I'm just so tired. <laughs> So this is my cute husband in his boxers. And this is my last meal of the day. It's still steaming. Um, this is four egg whites, half of an avocado, one tablespoon of coconut oil, and some ground chia seed and humulium pink salt. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So it's my fattiest, most delicious meal of the day. So I have this little at-home tent sauna. I've made videos on my fitness channel about this before and where you can buy one and I'll link it below, but this is just to help get rid of that last bit of water weight. I do it for 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes at night after workouts, after cardio session. And yeah, I would show you all the sweat, um, but I'm naked behind here, so. Hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to stick around for the next video and subscribe to see how show day went and what my steps are as far as competing goes from here.